Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh and I sell you stuff on eBay as you can probably see from this storage unit of stuff behind me. We got 33 orders going out. It is a Friday. This is everything that sold on Thursday and no. This is everything sold like Wednesday afternoon, all day Thursday, and then Friday morning. Wednesday afternoon, very slow. Thursday morning slow, but then Thursday afternoon things really picked up. Very, very happy. We got 33 orders going out. Some of them are at home. I'll put them up on the screen. Those are my newest CD listings that I have just listed the last couple of days. I'm filling up some new of these three drawer things. I picked up two. I'm going to pick up at least two more. And then maybe the rest of the CDs will kind of fit in what I've got left. Honestly, I'm lying to myself there. I'm going to need more than that. I surely don't want to get more than that. But I've got one of them completely filled. Two of the drawers are listed. The last drawer is halfway listed. And then I'm going to bring it to the unit all full so that it just saves a lot of time doing things that way. But I think, I don't know, several CDs have sold there. It seems like when I'm listing a full drawer full, right as soon as I'm listing them within the next 24 hours, like three of them typically sell. So, got some interesting information. Um, I am listing slower moving CDs on eBay though. My faster moving ones go to Amazon. And a lot of the lower dollar CDs that move quicker, I just don't list. So, that's enough talking. Let's show you guys what's sold. All right, we're gonna start here on the floor. I have a bunch of rock CDs going out and some of these are at home. The person that bought these has already bought 500 other CDs. They've been buying lots. I've been taking great offers on them, sending them great deals to move out a bunch of my bulk CDs. These are both rock. They've been buying some other genres as well. But both of these two lots plus several at home are going to them. And honestly, my CD lots are selling very quickly. Very happy with that. They sell much quicker than the individuals, and they help cash flow, I've learned. This right here, somebody sent me a very low offer on this. You can see like $2, but they just want the cards in here. So I'm gonna save a lot on shipping by not shipping the whole binder. And that's part of why I accepted that very low offer. This is a lot of, I believe Cajun and Appalachia, Appalachia, however you wanna say it, CDs going out very happy with that lot very cool all right so let's look at some individual cds besides the ones you saw a second ago we got i believe some sort of chinese something here i've mentioned it before but this is really hard to look up except for that number right there wcd 2074 a lot of times that number will be on discogs or even on the internet sometimes you could try looking up the upc but that doesn't always work and if you're new to the channel this light sensor goes out every couple of minutes, so we got to walk over here and flip it back on. If you're new to the channel and you're enjoying this, go ahead and subscribe. We got this CD here, Roused About, Better Than It Sounds. Pretty cool. Let's see what else we got. It's a beautiful day at Carnegie Hall. Child Groove Blues in My Shoes. If you're wondering why I've got so many CDs going out right now, it's because I bought 8,000 CDs about two, two and a half weeks ago. Italian Dreams and Dances, this was an older one. It's a Hawaiian CD. We got two Kubota workshop manuals going out. This one has never sold before. This one got returned. I think the person honestly got whatever they needed off of here and returned it, but I sold it again. So, hey, that's cool. And then this one had been listed for quite a while. It's a D. Dan Ann, I don't know, it's some Celtic music. Oh, and one more. I think this is the last of the CD. Morgan Sexton, Shady Grove. This sold not on eBay, not on Amazon, but actually on Truegather. So yeah, some banjo music, pretty cool looking. All right, all right. We got a couple sewing machine parts. First, we got the Singer top cover. I usually don't list these just because of the amount of space they take up. And they honestly sell slower than even normal sewing machine parts in my experience a sealed vhs arthur i think i got like ten dollars for this that's pretty cool a lot of times when i'm buying vhs i'll buy a whole tote for like five dollars especially if the tote's got a lid because then worst case scenario i've got a good tote oh, stuff keeps falling back here we're gonna pick it up these are from a star wars stratego game Honestly, I got about the same amount of money out of just these pieces as I would selling the whole board game because shipping kills the cost of, of board games. 
selling board games online is slowly dying because shipping is killing it, except for your rare games. I need to take that price tag off. This is a plus three. There's actually two of these. This is like the transceiver. I think it's for setting off like flashes and different things for cameras. There are two of those going out. I'm gonna put that down gently because it's a little more valuable. This is a cool t-shirt. This is actually a local high school shirt. I had this in my booth that I had here where I was selling things at. Kind of your typical vendor booth situation where you drop stuff off, price it, and they sell it. But they closed down, so I no longer have this. But it was a local shirt, so I had it in there. Did not sell. Sold online to somebody in California. Not California. New York. Same thing. Different side of the country. Here we go. We got a camera going out. Nikon Cool Picks. I almost kept this one. I really need to keep one of these good little point and shoot cameras because I've got somebody that's taking pictures of all my CDs and such. I've been having them do it on an old iPhone. I, I want to switch to that. I want to switch to a camera. I meant to pull that one down and then it sold. So what can you do? What can you do? One more sewing machine part This is off an old Elgin machine. Don't really see this style of thing anymore. Pretty cool. Um, another sewing machine part. This is a computer board off of a newer brother machine. You don't see these on the older machines. But I pull all the computer boards off because they all sell. A shirt, single stitch. If you can see that line of stitching right there, there's only one line. If you look down on the shirt that you're wearing right now, you will see two lines unless you're wearing an old shirt. Some like basic Hawaii Maui shirt. Pretty cool. Better speech and better reading. I was telling you just in my last video that this type of stuff is selling right now. If you've got any of it laying around, <laughs> list it. Because people still do use this for homeschooling. Some people do. We don't. Um, let's see what fell back here. I'm sure this is great camera work. Uh, I think that's everything that fell. Yeah, it is. Here's the other one of these plus threes that I had. One more Singer part. This is off a little Serger 14U32. Person was very nice with this. They offered to sell me a bunch of sewing machine parts, but I literally just bought seven sewing machines that day. So I told them, no, I have plenty of stuff. That was a funny story. So I went to buy a trailer load of books, but the manager wasn't there. So what did I do? I bought seven sewing machines instead. Saved the whole trip trip wasn't that long but yeah got them a little bit lower than my normal buy price too so hey pretty good the church triumphant i've sold this record before and i have another one listed still oklahoma baptist festival choir the singing churchmen i find a lot of the singing churchmen and church women stuff around here it does seem to eventually sell but it's very slow but this record i've sold it twice now within the last two years so i consider that pretty good one more book Las Vegas is my beat by Ralph Pearl. And this is a lot of just Cajun CDs. Now I don't normally group CDs by the genre Cajun, but in this last purchase I had, there was a whole bunch of them. So I made a couple lots up like that. We got a few things in the other unit. Do not leave yet. I'm going to walk down there and show you what else sold in just a minute. But here's my storage unit down here. Bins for bigger things. Things that fit in these baggies in the SKU system that lots of people use. I do those. Love this system. Best system I have. Smaller containers. You can think of these just like totes, but they're much smaller for much smaller items. I use these drawers for my CDs and cassettes because they just fit so wonderfully in there. Absolutely love how they work. On the bottom down here, I have boxes that like offices will get paper in filled with books because that's how I like storing my books and then I do have some space on my top shelf where I just have random stuff hanging out that I don't even have SKUs on so I just have to try and remember where it is and just ignore this shelf this is just always a mess this is my mess area let's go to the other unit all right the way it worked out did not sell very much from down here but still very happy with it we sold one Presto salad shooter part. I do not part these out anymore, but I used to. I don't anymore. Next, we found Playing the American Reed Organ by Robert Gellerman. If you bought a bulk lot of books, would you look this up? 
I did, and I sold it for almost $17 plus shipping. Very happy with that. These actually ended up being not that bad of a sell, to, except for the fact that they took a while to sell. These are Monopoly cards from the Mario Kart version. I got like somewhere between seven and eight dollars plus shipping for all those cards. Once again, board games, shipping them kills the price. I would not have made seven dollars, probably make five. Probably wouldn't have made that much selling the whole Monopoly game. And then we also got one very old baseball glove. I need to double check, make sure it's regular. I think it is. Anyways, that is it today. Um, after this, we are going to go and try to buy a whole trailer load of books. That did not work out yesterday because the manager was not available. So we're gonna try again today. Um, if that happens, that's gonna be the next video. So subscribe if you wanna see me buy a whole trailer load of books. What processing that looks like. Am I gonna make money or lose money? We shall see, but anyways. I'll see you guys all next time. Goodbye.